This is a John and Jono 17 and a half horsepower vertical shaft engine and uh, we're just looking at the throttle connections today. Um, the 17 has two points of connection. Um, at the moment we've got the throttle cable hooked into the throttle control and below that is the choke control. So you can run an a separate choke cable and run the choke independently from the throttle but most lawnmowers you know, or the earlier models, you can control both choke and throttle through one cable. So at the moment we've got it hooked up and as you can see when you go to the start position we're pulling on the throttle and you can see here up the top here that the throttle cable is also pushing on the choke cable. So pushing the throttle full forward is pushing on the choke. And then when the engine starts and runs, we pull back to running and the choke is left behind and then the throttle happens in that lower range. This is the um, choke control and the travel of the choke back here is on a little stop. And so the limit of that, this screw up here, this adjustment screw, sets the limit of the travel so that the choke doesn't go beyond what it needs to and that sits at roughly 19 mils outside the engine or up above from this top plate. So that sets the choke. Uh, this is the throttle control here and that will knock on the choke lever and as it knocks on the, puts the choke on, that will be the travel. But the rev range um, seems to be from the factory that these set with the holes to line up, which the adjustment screw is in behind and that's sitting up eight mil. Okay, on the vertical shaft, 175 ES. Um, we've got the wiring connectors that come with the engine and these come with a plug and uh, we do sell the matching plug with this but normally it's uh, not common uh, and normally it won't fit into a lawnmower which means that you'll have to understand the wiring configuration on your lawnmower to, to hook up with the engine but basically we've got some wires in the engine the, the red one is the fuel solenoid, the white one is the ignition, and the purple one is comes from the charging coil. So this is a fuel solenoid, which is basically electronic fuel tap. And it has two wires coming out of it. One will earth to the engine, which is already, you know, out the box. The other one is the red wire, which is 12 volts positive, to, to open the fuel tap to turn it on. So when your key goes to the on position, it should be adding 12 volts to the fuel solenoid to open up the fuel. So the white wire from the plug is the ignition. And basically you can see here the white wire that's coming up to the coil. And what the white wire does is if the white wire earths, it short circuits the coil and stops the spark happening. So basically the white wire is your off. On your switch, when you're in the off position, it should be earthing the white wire. So it's important not to get accidentally put 12 volts to the white wire, otherwise you'll cook your coil. Now on these engines, they have a charging coil, which sits in underneath the flywheel, and that produces power to um, charge a battery. And these are AC, and therefore on the side of the engine, we have a rectifier which converts it into DC. So then that will come out to charge a battery and that'll be the purple wire.